Well, a monolith popping up on Fremont Street. You'll find it standing under the canopy near Circa right now. A spokesperson says their team first noticed the monolith Friday morning, but they didn't say how it got there. 13 Action News caught up with one person who went downtown to check it out. Definitely in these unprecedented times, it's... Uh... It's, it's capturing the, our imaginations. I took a couple pictures that we posted on our social media, you know. Uh, you know, de definitely it's, it's a cultural phenomenon right now. Now, if you remember, another similar monolith was recently discovered in a remote area of Utah before it was removed. And others have been popping up around the world since then. A mystery. Popping up. <laughs> How many times did she say that, right? If you don't think this thing is orchestrated, think again. There's a plan. And there's a plan that we have never, ever seen in our life. At least not in this lifetime. Popping up. There's always clues. There's always the code. Good afternoon, I am French Shot Pierce and welcome to my channel. French Shot Blue is the 19th of June. Happy Wednesday. Let's say it together. Praise God from whom our blessings flow. Why would a monolith be popping up? And then that reflection, like a portal, right? You notice that? Like a mirror. It's trying to tell you something. I think it has a lot of meanings. One, I will point out, if it's reflective, if it's a mirror, then definitely it's a, it's a portal. It's taking you somewhere else. It's shifting, like shape shifting. It's getting you to think about other dimensions. You see where I'm going with this? So to me, we're being prepped for the hereafter. Like we gonna one day leave the world behind. Yeah. Maybe they'll be the blame why millions of us are missing. Yesterday, the Las Vegas Metro Police Department let folks on social media know about the appearance of a mysterious monolith on a trail north of the city. They wrote, we see a lot of weird things when people go hiking, and asked, how did it get up there? I've never seen this before. It always looks like a UFO. It's up there. As you may know, this comes just two months after a man discovered another Washington Monument-looking thing in Wales, and he said there were no footsteps around it at all. What the heck is that? And in 2020, many similar-looking structures were found across the world, starting with this beauty in the desert of Utah. It was spotted accidentally by wildlife officials while they were counting bighorn sheep from a helicopter. Even going down there, they were nervous, like, were they going to get teleported to a, another dimension or something? Upon closer inspection, this is definitely a, a human-made object. But could humans have been in the company? One more for the road. I want you to think about it. Those two were recent. And that last one referenced Wales, which happened not one, not two, but three months ago. Universal, understand, not just in America, not just in Las Vegas, but also in Wales. They want everybody to know that when Jesus come to get us, well, he didn't come get us. The UFOs, the monolithics, the strange things that are happening, occurrences that we can't explain. It was universal. Welcome back to ABC News Live. First, visitors are flocking to a new mystery monolith on the Welsh countryside. The 10-foot-tall silver monolith appeared with no footprints or tire tracks. And so far, there's no clue as to how it got there. Lara Spencer has more. It's the mysterious monolith that's the talk of one UK town. Uh, come up here, I've never seen this before. It always looks like a UFO. 
This shiny silver spear atop a bluff in Wales, spotted by local Craig Muir, who says it seemingly appeared out of nowhere. Muir taking the video after spotting the thing, which he describes as a roughly 10 foot long, foot and a half wide metal structure. The mysterious monolith capturing the internet's attention, with many wondering if it came from outer space. Residents of the nearby town of Hay on Y making trips to see the statue for them. A lot of emphasis. I've been telling you guys, not only is the world a stage, but the cast has to cast spells. They have to give you the five C's of clues, codes, colors, carpentry, charm, conclusion. They got to talk to you. It appeared out of nowhere. There was no trail. There was no footprints. Ooh. It's got to be from out of space. Why now? I'm glad I know Jesus. I think majority of you all have put it together by now. Few YouTubers have put it together. I'm going to do my part. You see, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whom so believe in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. Why did he do it? He did it for days like this. Because he knew after he died, after he bled, after he sacrificed, after he rose again, he knew that the Holy Spirit would be here and there would be a battle. And then there would be a great lie at the end before his coming. You see, when I think about this monolith, I think about the star that Jesus was coming. I, I think about Jesus coming and three wise men knew he was coming. But who else knew he was coming? King Hero knew it was coming. So he summoned the three wise men. I understand the King of King and Lord of Lord is here. Can you go find him for me? I want to worship him. Well, this time it's with a twist. I said, this time it's with a twist. This Antichrist, this system that's set up before us. Oh, it's set up the new world order, the... You won't own nothing, be happy crowd. It's here. It's been tough for them to get it, but it's a loosely knit system. You can't buy or sell Revelation 13 without the mark. Oh, it's coming. And I'm trying to do my part to warn you, because you see, Satan ain't trying to get no worship. He wasn't trying to get no worship through King Herod. But he's got to have a flagrant excuse. So they put these monoliths out. Oh yeah, they, they put them out there. They're not going to say the king of king and lord of lords came. I told you it's with a twist. They're going to say the UFOs did it. These behind the scene, <laughs> dastardly bunch, the fallen angels, the Luke 1018 crowd, that got millions upon millions of people in a variety of aspects, a variety of functions. They hold political office and finance and business. Even in the church, they go all come together and say, you know what? Those so-called born again believers, the UFOs, they came and get them. They came to get them. And that's your salvation. Understand what I just said to you. We didn't want to let you know, but we've been in contact with these entities. And they told us that in order to save this country between the polluters and the Christians, they weren't the salt of the earth. They were disturbing the earth. So they came and got them. They transfigured them. And all those monolithics and other, other signs that you saw, we knew about it. 
hearts with a twist. The Bible says the devil is off of all confusion. Remember that. People are seeking, but they're not finding unless they find Jesus. So the rest is 19, confusion. So they've been putting these monoliths out here all this time. And they're going to tell us. The greys, they came, they came and got us. They already got a plan, people. They already got it set in the news. And many of the people who are casting this, the people who have given their allegiance to these fallen angels, the dark side, the bloodline, many of them don't even know that they're participating in the biggest fraud ever put on the world outside of George Floyd, allegedly. I don't want to be here. I know you don't want to be here. This should be confirmation enough to let you know Jesus is coming. They're preparing for this moment. Some folks were, were piercing. Rapture's not in the Bible. I get it. I get it. I think it is. Because wherever he is, that's where we are. What's the twist? The twist is a lie. The twist is confusion. The twist is to do what they've always done. They don't just put it in your face that day when it happens, when it occurs. They do it through the science of gradualism. And like I said, this one's going to be around the world. I wonder what's next on the plate. A small abduction of 25% of the city or 10% of the city. Pearson, why do you think like that? Because they've paralyzed a lot of people's thinking. I often think that when God gave Adam dominion, how did that snake, that serpent, that being actually beguiled Adam and Eve. I, I've said it before in other videos in French I Pearson that there was something very strong cast on his domain. A lot of you guys got cats, dogs, animals. You've heard the stories where your cat did something to wake you up just in time before a fire hit or your dog was howling, acting strange, and it was somebody outside. Put in the comment section, you know what I'm talking about. Animals have this sixth sense. They know when the storm is coming. I don't think it's far-fetched to think that the animals of that day when, before Adam sinned, they wanted to warn him about that snake. The birds wanted to chirp. Maybe even the lion wanted to come up to him and say, look, don't give up the domain. Think about what I'm saying, how deep it is. God gave the animals dominion. You know, if you ever encountered an atom that was close to you, God sends birds, dogs and cats. They, they speak to their owner many times in the nick of time before trouble hits. I've always thought about it. How long? You think we're not being warned? I'll read the comments section. Oh, Pearson, I'm bored with the numbers. Okay. God allows me to tell stories through the numbers. I ran from my gift. You've been with me long enough. You've heard the story before. I ran from my gift. I finally gave in. I'm doing it now. I'm not ashamed of the style and the gospel that I preach. 
see, because I know who I serve. We got to hang in there, people. I'm just a tool. I'm just a messenger. I ain't got time to pull the wool over your eyes and lie to you. I'm telling you what's going on. And the numbers do speak. On 6 17 of 2024, this monolithic showed up. She attracted from Barack Obama's birthday, August 4th. You get 6-6. Six, six. You get 6-6. Six, six. The mark of the beast, the Antichrist. And if you take the same date, 6-17 of 2024, subtracted from that movie, it's fitting. Leave the world behind. May, December 8th of 2023. Well, <laughs> Barack Obama was a part of that movie, wasn't he? Didn't he consult in that movie? Subtract them dates, you get 192. It's one of the first things I thought about it. Oh, the monolithics just popped up. It just popped up. What is 192? Leave the world behind is 192. It's right there. Don't hate the messenger, people. I'm finally doing what I'm told. I got to answer to God at the end. Can you imagine how it's going to be when millions upon millions of people disappear off this planet? And I got a feeling it's going to happen. It's, it's going to be a tenth or a fourth of a town that's going to come up missing. I don't know literally. Or they might come and just snatch them and put them somewhere. But they got to do something to grab our attention, nation and worldwide. That way we're like, wait a minute, then people just vanished? You're going to timestamp the video. I'm thinking like the devil at this point. What, what would I do to really get people conditioned? I got the monolith, the dimensional signs, the portals. What's that thing they put out there in New York about a month ago? Where you can see people and other Cities, I forgot what that's thing called. They're, they're doing all types of things to show you the different dimensions and what they've probably known for 40 or 50 years. But they kept it from the general public. Finally had to admit when I had the, the YouTube franchise Pearson that my birthday is exactly 66 days from Barack Obama. I'm October 9th, he's August 4th. I believe he's the Antichrist. And my birthday is exactly 84 days from December 31st. And Barack Obama was born August 4th. And again, my birthday is 84 days from October 9th to December 31st. I never wanted to look at my numbers, but I finally did last year. Many of you all probably remember I did that video. I ain't been the same since. I'm gonna do my calling. We got one time to get it right. Can you be saved during the tribulation? Yes, you can, but I'd rather get up out of here now. If you've seen a monolithic, if you've seen one of those before, let me know, put in the comment section. I might do a whole video.
The flip side is that it's positive that it's happening because it gives us time to get ready, don't it? How long was the sign in the sky of that coming? And the wise men and many men and women got themselves together knowing that the King of Kings and Lord of Lords, that their prophecy had finally been fulfilled. So take this thing as a sign. Get right, stay right, and get ready for the flight. These demons know it. They're telling you. They're just lying to you about what it's really about. Heaven. It's time to get a relationship with our Lord and Savior right now. In Jesus' mighty name. God bless you.